I'm Jordan Miner for PCMag.com, here with Michael Block, uh, project lead on an upcoming game, We Are Chicago. Uh, Michael looks really promising. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, yeah. We Are Chicago is a kind of narrative-driven 3D adventure game, um, but it's all based on true stories about growing up in low-income communities in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's kind of examining some of the social issues through like a multiple uh, dialogue option, um, split narrative like choices, a choice-driven game. Cool. So we're like, I guess, the objectives like, within these little stories? Uh, so the objective uh, for the character, you're playing a high school boy, um, and the idea is you're basically trying to get to graduation, which is about a week away in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're kind of uh, dealing with the normal high school drama of having to, you know, do your homework and hang out with your friends and try to, like, balance all that. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's these kind of extra um, added things of, you know, you're getting uh, solicited at school to like join a gang or to um, you know buy a gun or things like that, and then your friends are getting the same solicitations, and so you have to figure out how to handle all of that and figure out what to do um, when your friends start making choices that aren't the best um, for them, and, and right. they start to impact you. So. Would it be fair to compare it to like a, like a telltale kind of like adventure game? Yeah, it's okay. very similar in the in the branching dialogue. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So uh, I guess what sorts of research have you done for this? Like, are you f like you're from yeah. Chicago, correct? Uh, yeah. So I've been living in Chicago for like uh, seven or eight years now, um, and the research that we did at the beginning of the project was we went in. Um, to work uh, with some local nonprofits um, to do some volunteering. Mm -hmm. um, and through that, we got to meet a whole bunch of people and we started interviewing them and doing like one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, to kind of figure out what the big things were that were happening in their, in their neighborhood. Um, some of the big negative things, some of the big positive things, and, and try to talk about those. Um, and then find the commonalities between everyone's stories to see what like the big issues were. Um, and once we kind of had that list of, of bullet points of like things that we thought were really important to talk about, um, we went in uh, to a couple of schools, uh, a couple of universities in, in um, the south side of Chicago, uh, and found a writer uh, who was going to school there and lives in Englewood. Um, uh, to come in and actually write all the narrative and the dialogue and like kind of craft that whole narrative experience. You're saying you're trying, you're looking for commonalities. Did you ever find like within these stories like specific things that you want, like you know, like, that has to go in there? Like that's such a great like anecdote or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so there was a lot of stuff that, that was very shared. I mean, everybody had a story about somebody who got shot or somebody who was mugged or somebody who, you know, a lot of, a lot of people end up getting mugged themselves at some point in their lives, even if they were only in high school at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and so kind of these tensions um, about, you know, feeling safe in your own neighborhood and that sort of thing was something that we really wanted to talk about. Um, and we really wanted to talk about the like underlying issues of you know what creates that right mm -hmm. um, and Chicago has a very like long and complicated history of like redlining and you know racial right. segregation and yeah. all these sorts of things Absolutely. that are very very big problems yeah. and they're very evident today because you can see the like racial breakdowns of, of the different neighborhoods and oh. it's very segregated right um, and so kind of trying to talk about those issues through this like narrative driven system is hopefully a way to engage people that don't know about it um, but might not look it up <laughs> if you if you called right. it like, hey, let's talk about redlining. It's a lot it's easier right. to accept things in a game. Exactly. Opposed, yeah, yeah. Dry history lesson. So uh, what's it coming out on? And do you kind of have like a projected release date yet? Uh, yes, yeah, so we're launching on Steam first. Um, and we are hoping for February. Um, that's, a, that's our target right now. Um, mm -hmm. But we're definitely in the, in the camp of, you know, we want to make it good. Uh, so if it's not quite ready by February, we might end up releasing in like March or something. But hopefully early 2016 is our... Awesome. Our Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs>